everyone, and welcome to another creature feature. My name is Andalyn. I'm the naturalist here at Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory, and I'm really excited to share with you about a fun arthropod that's not an insect, but it's still one of my favorite kinds of animals. It's a millipede. <laughs> Here at the conservatory, we take care of a giant millipede that's native to Asia and Indonesia. So it's called the giant Asian millipede. So here's one. I'm going to lift it out of the dirt. Now it's curled up at first because as one of their defenses, millipedes will, will curl up into a tight ball if they're startled. Millipedes are actually very curious creatures. They like to walk around and explore their environment. We think millipedes just kind of see light and dark, maybe a little bit of movement. I mean, if you live underground, if you're subterranean for most of your life, you're probably in the dark anyway. So like a lot of other arthropods, millipedes really depend on their sense of smell with their antenna, sense of vibrations and other movements, which they can sense through almost their entire body as well as their legs and their antenna. So I'm just gonna let the millipede walk around on the tablecloth and we're gonna see how it walks with all of those feet there. And we're gonna take a look at how many feet we have. Pick a number, how many legs do you think this giant millipede has? And we'll take a closer look together to figure it out. So without having to count every single one of the legs on a millipede, what's a faster way to find out how many legs they have? Well, I'm going to tell you a secret and it has to do with what makes a millipede a millipede. It has to do with how many legs they have per segment of their body. So here's a millipede I drew out and each ring or section of its body, that's a segment. For every segment, they have four legs. Now the millipede I drew out, I'll save you some time, has 23 segments. If we do 23 times four, that's 92 legs. That's a lot. So now that we know how to figure out just how many legs a millipede has, how many legs do you think our giant adult millipede here has? So I'll give you a hint. I've counted the segments and there's 62 segments. That means she has 250 legs. There's a really fun phrase for the wave-like motion that their legs have as they're walking along. It's called a metachronal wave. You may have participated in one before. If you have ever gone to a baseball game or been in a stadium where one section at a time people around the stadium would stand up and wave their arms, that's also called a metachronal wave. So one thing that people don't know much about millipedes is how they're born. Well, it turns out that millipedes start out their life as a tiny egg and it can take several weeks up to a couple months for those to hatch into tiny, tiny millipedes. They all start out about five millimeters or a centimeter long, and sometimes only about 10 or 12 legs. That's right. Fun fact about millipedes, they actually add legs as they get older. So I like to tell people, if you were a millipede, every time you had a birthday, you would grow two more legs and you would just keep getting longer and longer and longer. <laughs> so even though we met a very large millipede today, most millipedes are a lot smaller than that, especially here in Ontario. We get many beautiful millipedes, but they are quite a bit smaller and they can be a little hard to find because after all, they're living underground. You've got to go looking for them. But now you know how to tell if a millipede is a millipede. So thanks for joining me today for another creature feature. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about millipedes. We'll see you next week. Thanks again. Bye.